What's up everybody, I'm Coach T from Bolivation and today we're going to be doing a Paolo Bencaro scouting report. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So on this play, Paolo sets his defender up with a hesitation, a couple of crossovers, and then drives and spins off of his defender and gets the layup to go. And I've already talked about how effective the spin move can be when you're attacking the basket in a previous video if you want to check that out. But the spin move is a great way to get to the basket. And he does the in and out move and drives into his defender which draws the contact and gets fouled and finishes. And this is why players that are big or small shouldn't be afraid to attack the basket and draw contact because if you use your body to shield yourself from the ball, you have a higher chance of getting fouled and getting sent to the free throw line which will then give your team more easy opportunities and then those free throw points will eventually add up. And being a strong player can also give you the ability to finish through contact like this. And after his teammate sets the screen for him, he then drives on his defender and spins in the opposite direction once again and gets the easy dunk. And Paolo comes over to set the screen and then his teammate uses it and Paolo then rolls to the three point line and he is left wide open. And then as Paolo catches the ball, the other defender is a bit too late to closing out on the shot. And he's in a 3 on 1 fast break situation and passes it to his teammate, his teammate throws an alley-oop back to him and he gets an easy wide open dunk by taking advantage of the rest of the other team not getting back on defense. And he does a jab step and takes a step in for the mid range pull up. And look at the space he creates here. When he steps into the mid-range area for the pull-up, his defender loses his balance. And when you're able to get your shot off quickly like this, it could really throw your defender's timing off, which could then give you that opportunity to get an easy jump shot. And here he drives to the rim again and finishes through the contact even though he doesn't get the foul this time. And he freezes his defender with more jab steps and knocks down a contested mid-range jump shot. And he drives to the basket and does the turnaround fadeaway. And similar to the last fast break play, his teammate throws the ball down the court and nobody is able to get back on defense in time to stop him from getting the dunk. And he's in the post backing down his defender and he does a hop step toward his defender and knocks down the fadeaway. And then he's in the post and catches the ball from his teammate and then spins off of his defender and getting the easy layup. And on this play he is spinning as he catches the ball. And the good thing about using shot fix or jab steps is that it's a way to keep your defender guessing what your next move is going to be or when you're going to drive or what direction you're going to drive in or if you're going to take a jump shot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on for a second. Before we continue on with this video, I have something to show you. Just, just look at the shirt, look at the shirt, look at the shirt. Let's go Duke. Hashtag Duke in the NBA. Hashtag strength in numbers, even though that's the Golden State Warriors, but we're not going to talk about that. And just look at how many Duke players are in the NBA right now. I mean, that's why I said strength in numbers, because... Duke, Duke is just dominating the NBA right now. I'm, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, let's continue. 
and Paolo is in transition in a 3 on 2 fast break situation and alley oops it to his teammate. And he's in the post and he does a couple of jab steps, drives to the paint and then throws up a shot fake which gets his defender to jump giving him the easy opportunity at the rim. And his teammate passes it to him and he drives and wraps the ball around the defender's head and finishes at the rim. And he catches the ball as his defender is closing out on him. He hits him with the step back and creates separation and he makes the three pointer. And now he has a mismatch in the post and uses the spin move to get to the basket. And on this inbound play, he gets past his defender and his teammate alley oops it to him and he finishes. He's in another fast break situation and has one defender left to beat and he uses the euro step to finish. And his teammate drives to the rim attracting two defenders to come over to him leaving Paolo wide open for the dunk. And on this post play, his defender could have actually stopped him from getting this bucket, but instead, he gives up this contact layup by gambling for the steal. And sometimes it can be okay to go for steals in passing lanes, but if you end up not getting the steal, it can give up opportunities at the rim, so it's better to be really cautious about that. And Paolo sets the screen and his teammate jives and draws two defenders over giving Paolo the wide open three pointer. And here Paolo is moving without the ball he catches it and takes a step in and is able to elevate over his defender and knock down a contested mid range shot. And he once again creates his own offense by breaking down his defender. And Ben Carroll drives, does a hesitation, gets his defender to jump, and this time he jumps into his defender to create the contact and makes the N1 shot. And here he has two defenders on him, which actually gives him several different options. Three of his teammates could possibly get an open three here, here, and here. And he could possibly pass the ball back over here if he's able to get the ball to him in time without the defender coming back over. And he could also pass it here but he's going to be passing a longer distance which may give this defender more time to come over and steal the pass. And he could pass it to the opposite corner which is still a long distance. But if you look at the defense nobody is guarding him. And this defender has his back turned so by the time he goes over to contest the shot he may already be too late. And he gets another assist by driving to the paint and drawing attention to him, leaving his teammate in the corner wide open. And with Paolo's overall game, he's athletic and he's great at finishing at the basket and he can finish through contact as well and knock down the mid-range and three-point shot. But let me know what you think of Paolo's game. Do you think he's ready for the NBA? And if so, is there anything that you think he might need to work on to become an even better player? And if you want to learn more things about breakdowns or just things that you can learn from players, I also have that in the description below. Go Duke! Go Duke! And also let me know what are some things you enjoyed about the video so that I can continue making these. Thank you all for watching and peace.